Darling, it's all about art, isn't it? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Let's talk about what I'm surrounded with. I'm surrounded by the beautiful Marilyn Monroe's Andy Warhol Marilyn Monroe's. Now, before you rush over here to steal them away from me, let me tell you, they are fake. Yes, believe it or not. So I found them on Facebook Marketplace. It was a couple in Philadelphia that was selling the both of them. And because they have a baby coming and they don't need them anymore, they purchased them from a website. Um, I'm not sure where, um, but I definitely got it for like a fraction of what they would go for in real life. It's some art website that does affordable reproductions. I mean, I wish they were real. They're both enormous. The pink one, the green one. I've literally had them just sitting around for months. I have absolutely no idea what to do or where to put them, but you know, there's a collector and a hoarder inside of me. And when it came to these things, I absolutely had to get them. And I do not regret this decision at all. They're like, 36 by 36 or maybe even like 40 by 40 they're absolutely enormous and so cool and pop art and you know this is what i like so that being said today is going to be an art video bum, bum, bum. so i like pineapples do you guys like pineapples they just taste so good so i <sighs> I don't know, for whatever reason, I was just really into pineapples and I was browsing eBay one day and found an artist, um, her name is Gina Marie, and she had just the most colorful stuff. It's some adult woman and this is her hobby and she was selling them on eBay. So I did a purchase um, for a collection of pineapple paintings that she did and it was only for like six or so that she had in a listing and by no means was she expensive at all. She was probably charging like, five, six dollars, whatever it may be. Well, let me tell you, when I got the delivery, I got a whole binder and a full assortment of paintings from her and I will show them. I don't even know what to do with them. Here we go. So this first one is supposed to be the listed pineapples and she put tissue paper between them. It's just beautiful storing work. So let's take a look and discuss some art. So here's the first pineapple. Isn't that so cute? So the idea that I originally had, I wanted to kind of like line up all different pineapples in my bathroom or maybe on a wall and just have it be like this colorful display because I love color as you can see. Look at this one, fiery. And on the back, she has a sticker on all of her things, original Gina Marie art. I tried to look her up, but I couldn't find her. So hopefully she's doing okay. Look at this one. I mean, it's so pretty, you know? Art doesn't have to be masterpiece. It doesn't have to be perfection. It could be just whatever speaks to you. I mean, this is just nice and pleasant work. And I am a fan. You know, as far as my art collecting goes, I have expensive art, I have cheap art, I have found art, I have... I haven't made it, but who knows? Maybe the future will call for it. Um, and, you know, I just, I think the most important thing is to buy what you like. Um, I recently read an interview with, um, about Swiss Beats, um, the record producer, and he's married to Alicia Keys. I'm gonna share them below where he said in the beginning, when he started collecting art, he was buying names that would impress other people. So I guess like Warhol, Picasso's, Miro's, you know, like those types of like blue chip artists, which from my understanding, that term means like their work is like the highest of highest high end. And it's expected that they're going to cost a lot of money and bring a lot of value. And he found that while it was impressive to other people, it did absolutely nothing for him. So going forward, whatever he would purchase, it would be something that speaks to him and something that he likes, which I cannot agree with more. I mean, sure. I can look at a multi-million dollar painting and be like, yeah, I can see why because of the name. But as far as looking at it within itself, if it doesn't speak to me and if I don't like it, then, you know, it's not for me. And, you know, these eBay pineapples, which 
I'm sure a lot of people may look at it and be like, this is worthless, it's trash. To me, I liked it. You know, the colors that she's using, it's so unique. Take a look at this, aren't they fun? What's that to like? Amazing. I mean, it's pineapples, you know, it's simple. But like, no one's gonna have this. Maybe I'll put them in my kitchen. I just love it. Feel good vibes. Look at that gem. She definitely made a lot of these like yellow and black ones. Reminds me of that song, the Wiz Khalifa song, black and yellow, black and yellow. Very pretty. And she put tissue paper in between each one. I mean, what is not to like? Look at this beauty. Wow. Or this. Stunning. You know, I'm seriously considering this. And then as far as framing, you know, framing is actually very expensive, but I have some very good suggestions. So the pieces that I had, the Kathy Koufakis, this is a Walmart frame. It costs like two or three dollars and it's glass. Um, it fits, they come in all sizes. They sell them at every Walmart and you can purchase it online as well in packs of 10, I believe, or packs of three. You don't need to spend a lot of money on framing. Framing is beautiful and I have absolutely framed stuff in the past when I first started collecting um, nicer pieces of art and it's expensive. I mean, it looks pretty, but is it necessary? Not really. And honestly, I like this frame because the priority then is the painting, not uh, the frame. So if you have concerns about how to frame a piece of work, trust in the process, Walmart, Target, Amazon, online. I mean, all of those places you can look and I guarantee that you can find cheap frames. It's absolutely not necessary to do framing. That being said, framing is absolutely beautiful. So if you wanna do it, um, more power to you. Look at this beautiful one. So that was the end of it. See, this is where she wrote bonus gift. And the bonus gift is this binder. So let's see. And here it's like an assort. Starts with this flower. I mean, it's so pretty, you know? Straight to another flower. And then we have a cat. Or look at this, it's like a double flowers. Oh, more pineapples. Red and green, it's almost like Christmas vibes. More pineapples again. I don't know what these are. Oh, this looks like a tea. Oh, this is so cute. Some tea or coffee in the morning. Another pretty flower. And then look, a heart. Isn't that so pretty? Another double flower. I mean, look at this work. No, I, I'm not sure if this person went to art school. I'm not sure what their background is, but what I do know is that this is a passionate person and this brings them joy. And I'm very happy to support her dreams, her hobby. Why not? Think about how much money you spend just getting like a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which I love by the way. Um, but now I have this forever. Another very pretty heart. Another pineapple. This is a very pretty pineapple. I love how she uses a bunch of different colors. You know, how the colors almost just like seep in differently. Here's another black and yellow. I'm gonna have a whole collection of just the black and yellow pineapples. Look at this pretty one. Or this one. Oh, even more. Well, I guess I'm definitely not going to be looking for pineapples anytime soon. Another one. And another one. It's just so cool. Like, I can literally just stack them all in, let's say, like, rows of five and then down, like, four or five levels. And it's just this whole 
collage of pineapples. Look at this red one. Just gaga for these pineapples. They're all over the place. More pineapples. Gina Marie must like pineapples. And I'll share her info below, but before I made this, I tried to see if I could find more of her work and I can't find anything listed on eBay um, or even her website is disconnected. So hopefully she's okay. But I mean, look at this, it's a piano. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all these. This can make great gifts, maybe a housewarming, I don't know. Or even just to keep and to be able to look through. Look at that. Or this guitar. Another guitar. Look at this bird. Oh, look at these, they look like poppy flowers. And these flowers, I mean, it's so pretty. What's not to like? Thank you so much, Gina Marie. This, oh, or look at this dog. And that's it. You know, actually, while looking through this, I was thinking, this is a great idea. You know, that's another thing with art that I feel um, has affected me a bit or other collectors is once you start acquiring a lot, you don't always have the wall space or maybe you don't want to have everything listed. This is such a great um, tool, you know, just whatever can fit in like a binder and you just put them within the slots. It's like scrapbooking, but it could be your art collection. Then you can just kind of look through it like a photo album and feel good about it. So thank you guys for taking a look at my Gina Marie art haul. Oh, I know I never showed uh, the accessories of the day. So I am wearing another handcrafted object. Big surprise. It's a very pretty handmade crystal pendant on like a rope um, chain. I think it's a quartz, but the metal work, it's so cool. I bought it locally and just rocking it today, all about the good energy and the good vibes. So um, in light of that, just continuing on, art should invigorate your life. I feel it should be a part of everyone's life, whatever it is. You know, if art for you is jerseys or sneakers or paintings, watercolors, jewelry, whatever it is, I mean, partake in it because I'm just gonna continue harping and continue saying that you only get one opportunity to live in this world and you should truly live it up. Don't let the four walls of your upbringing or your house or whatever it may be, uh, keep you away and limit you from fully experiencing. There is a whole world out there to see. And the truth is, is that most people will not see it. Even the people that actively want to see it will most likely never be able to see everything. So allow your mind the opportunity to escape. Go out there and have those adventures, whatever they are. And I am definitely pro spending. It's not always the best thing. It's not always the smartest thing. Obviously, use your intellect and know what your personal situation is. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with the little splurge. You know, when I come home and I walk by all of these things, they make me feel good. Sometimes when I'm just hanging out, I may just raise my eyes and next thing you know, I'm just staring at this piece as opposed to staring at a blank wall. So that alone makes it worth it. Um, so that's really just what I wanna say is Continue to enrich your life with whatever hobby it is that you have. And, you know, don't feel bad about it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being interested in something. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please subscribe. Watch my other videos. Recommend things to me. Tell me what videos you watch. Um, I would absolutely love to know and if it's art related definitely send it my way because when I'm not here filming or not browsing the internet then I'm all over the websites trying to find the next artist or on Instagram to see what I can find and what I like and what I can obsess over. So thank you again. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye.